But first, just as the Department of Homeland Security announced a campaign today to protect kids online, we're learning what local deputies are already doing is getting results. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Ginger Gadsden. Last year, a man was arrested, accused of raping a 13-year-old he met online. Volusia County Sheriff was worried parents were not policing their kids on the Internet. The sheriff started bringing together detectives and parents to drive home the sick reality and the consequences of allowing kids online unmonitored. Tonight, News 6 anchor Eric Von Anken is following up to see how the sheriff's idea is getting results and protecting our community. Detective LeMay and Detective Cloutier, you were both in the Child Exploitation Unit. And I wanted to have a real conversation with both of you here in your offices where you investigate some 65 cases a month involving kids here in Volusia County. And in an effort to try to reduce those numbers, we started hosting the Youth Safety Internet Forums. When you leave here tonight, you're a little bit smarter about what's going on. Where we invited parents to just talk about the what's going on, the cases that we're seeing online, uh, the trends, and what parents need to know and what they need to look out for. We had an adult male that met a 15-year-old on TikTok. You started out with four scheduled, and that, that turned into 20. A lot of parents realize that they really don't know um, a lot about the social medias and, and what their kids are actually doing on the Internet. What did parents say to you at these meetings? A lot of them were shocked. Um, they had no idea. We actually listed case examples. We just got a case the other day of a 15-year-old boy. He was exchanging nudes with somebody. We were seeing cases involving children as young as eight, sometimes even younger. Eight. Eight. What we told people at these forums was you have to stop thinking of the social media apps as, as harmless entertainment. Entertainment. Don't think of them as entertainment, but start thinking them as um, digital house keys. We have had multiple cases where teenagers, young females, have invited men either to the house or inside the house, and they have no idea who these men are. How many parents would you say you have reached over the last several months in person and then putting this presentation online, which, by the way, we have a link to on clickorlando.com? Hundreds. And you're, you're seeing a slight drop. We're seeing a, a drop in like the self-production cases, we call them, where um, students, elementary school students, middle school students are, are taking photos or videos of themselves and then sending them online. So for all the time that you've put in already, you feel like you're making a little bit of progress. You're getting through. Slowly chipping away. And last thing, detectives, if people are watching this and saying, I would really, really like to have this presentation at my school or my community center, what do they do? You'll, you'll, you will do it for them. Yeah, they reach out to the sheriff's office, um, and if we can accommodate them, then, then we will. And we put that contact information inside the story on clickorlando.com. Thank you both. Protecting our community in Volusia County with the Child Exploitation Unit, Eric Von Eichen, getting results, New 6. But like we mentioned a few minutes ago today, the Department of Homeland Security announced its new campaign called Know to Protect. The goal is to educate kids and parents about the dangers online. Now, the program shows parents should password protect and control access to downloads, set limits on device use, change privacy and location settings, and most importantly, keep an open dialogue with your kids. No to protect partners include major sports leagues and the parent companies of Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. But in a report this week, the American Psychological Association said tech companies need to make fundamental changes to their platforms to better protect kids. On CBS Mornings, Meta's global head of safety responded to that criticism. We're not trying to pass the buck to parents, but we all need to work together, whether that's DHS, whether it's us, whether it's parents to help protect kids online. The Department of Homeland Security also created a new telephone tip line to report suspected online child abuse and exploitation. That number is 1-800-THE-LOST. We'll also be sure to post that number at clickorlando.com.